So S and T are points on the circumference of a circle centre zero. Or O P T is a tangent to the circle, that's P T. And we know that the angle O P T, this one down here, is 32 degrees. Our task is to work out angle X. So first of all, as we've got a tangent, then we can mark in the angle here as 90, because it's a tangent. And if that's 90, then the angle up here is going to be 58, because these two angles add up to 90. They're called, they're called complementary angles. And now we've got the angle here on a straight line, so 58 and my angle where the red dot is must make 180. So that's going to be 122. Put that in there, 122. And that's because of the straight line. So finally we've got an isosceles triangle. Watch out for that because that's a radius. OS is a radius and OT is a radius. So the angle X here and here will make up the difference up to 180. So they'll make 58. So what I mean by that is X... Uh, there and there, that's isosceles, they will add up to 58 because they need to make up 180 in the same way that 122 and 58 make 180 on a straight line the missing angle here will be 58, so half of 58 then will give me the angle here so x equals 29 and I think um, what we'll say here is because it's an isosceles triangle isosceles uh, so we've got all our reasons, we've got the final answer, 29.